A stunning and noteworthy discovery emerging out of the Archaeological Park of Pompeii research studies is the immaculate find of precious artifacts from the time immediately preceding the events that took place when the mighty Vesuvius exploded in the year 79 AD. The eruption is responsible for bringing civilization to its knees. In this part of Italy, as many miles became engulfed, as everything became buried under six meters of volcanic ash and pumice. The most recent discovery from this ruined disaster site is what archaeologists are describing as a sorcerer's treasure trove of amulets, gems, and precious stones. According to the archaeological park of Pompeii, the items found in the decayed wooden box most likely belong to a woman because of the nature of the find. They appear related to the female world used for personal ornamentation or to protect them from bad luck. Placed in a wooden box, it has been restored and has been brought to its former glory by the restorers of the laboratory of the archaeological park of Pompeii. The wood of the box has decomposed and only the bronze hinges remain, but remained well preserved under the volcanic material. Among the numerous objects found, two mirrors, pieces of necklace, decorative elements made of faience, bronze, bone, and amber, a human figure, and various gems, including an amethyst with a female figure and a carnelian with a craftsman figure. In a glass paste is engraved the head of Dionysus, on another, a dancing satyr. The high quality of the amber and glass paste and the engraving of the figures confirm the importance of the Domus owner. Soon the jewels will be exhibited with other Pompeian jewels at the Plastra Grande in an exhibition that will be a follow-up of Vanity, the exhibition dedicated to jewels from the Cyclades and Pompeii, as well as from other sites in Campania. They are objects of everyday life in the female world and are extraordinary because they tell micro-stories biographies of the inhabitants of the city who tried to escape the eruption. In the same house, the researchers discovered a room with 10 victims, including women and children, and now they are trying to establish kinship relationships thanks to DNA analysis. Perhaps the precious box belonged to one of these victims. Interesting is the iconography of objects and amulets which invoke fortune, fertility, and protection against bad luck and the numerous pendants in the shape of small phalluses, or the ear, the closed fist, the skull, the figure of Hippocrates, the scarabs, symbol, and iconographies that are now being studied to understand their meaning and function. The chest was uncovered in the house of the garden in region 5 of the archaeological park, the same area where an inscription was discovered last year indicating that the eruption may have taken place in October 79, two months later than previously thought. The house itself would have belonged to a man of high status, confirmed by the quality of the amber and glass beads found in the trove, archaeologists say. Most people in Pompeii were not killed by slow-moving molten lava, but by a vast cloud of hot gas and fragments called a pyroclastic flow. The clouds surged over the city, killing its residents, wherever they were, and burying them in ash, preserving their final moments for all time. These moments we are now uncovering and piecing together the iconic and lost civilization of Pompeii. Anywho, we just wanted to show you guys these very precious and ancient things. What symbolism are these things representing? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.